Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the real-time scenario, real-time requirement, which is how to generate huge amount of test data for testing scenario. Once we have developed our solution, normally we go with testing. For testing, usually we used to get only limited amount of data in the development phase or in the testing uh, phase. But once we move the solution to production, actually that solution should be scalable. It should be able to handle huge amount of data also. So for that, we have to create test data during the test phase. So in this uh, video, I'm going to explain how to generate huge amount of test data using available small amount of data. So for that, we are going to use the function array repeat. So as part of creating test data, we are going to understand the function array repeat also. First, let us understand what is array repeat. Array repeat is nothing but one of the PySpark function which is creating an array containing a value from one of the data, data frame column with repeated count times. Let me uh, give some example. Let's assume we are having a data frame which is having two columns ID name and the value 10 Raja. Let's say I have to create repeated value of one of the column, let's say ID. So I have to create repeated value, repeated array value. Let's say this 10 should be repeated five times, 10 times, thousand times. It could be any number of times. So I want to create one new array column which would contain repeated values of one of the column. So this can be achieved using array repeat. So let's say I'm going to give array repeat function of five times. Then this ID value, it will be repeated five times and the result will be array. I hope you understood. This is how array repeat function works. Basically it is creating array value with the repeated count of the value from another column. Hope you understood. Now let us get, uh, let us, uh, get into the use case. My use case is I have to create a test data using this function. Yeah, before getting into that, let me explain the syntax also for array repeat. So for array repeat, let's say we are having data frame df, then we, I'm going to create a new column, array repeat, we can give any column name. Then we have to use the function array repeat. Within that, we have to mention the column based on which column we have to create array value and how many number of times we, we have to create. That, um, uh, you know, that factor we have to mention here. I hope you understood, right. Now, let us uh, moving into the use case. Um, I'm going to use the same um, uh, example. I'm having a data frame with ID and name. Now I have already array repeat, which has uh, created a new column with uh, five times of the uh, you know ID. Now, in order to make this one uh, record into five different records, I can apply explode function. So whenever I'm going to apply explode function, what happens is it is going to split you know this uh, each value with uh, rest of the record so here let's say, let's assume you know i have uh, dropped this column and renamed this column array repeat as id so as a result we are going to get you know this uh, 10 the value 10 will be repeated with each of the record so here we are having five records so five times it would be exploded it will create five new records so this is uh, this is going to be the output once we have applied the uh, array repeat function i hope you understood now in this way you know, I have given just uh, the factor 5, even I can give million or billion, I can give you any factor. So it is going to multifold one single record into those uh, number of times. I hope you understood, right? Now, coming to this test data, in most of the cases, you know, we used to keep some ID that is the primary key. So we cannot accept duplicate value. Even for our testing purpose, we have to generate unique key. So what we can do? So for that, we can go with, you know, there are many different approaches available in Databricks. You know, we can use monotonically increasing ID, row number. You know, there are various approaches we can use to convert this, um, uh, you know, duplicated ID into unique ID. So for that, let's say I'm going to use row number function. Then I'm going to you know, add the row number with this ID. So it is going to, uh, uh, you know, convert this ID into unique values, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, uh, if you understand, you know, we are having previous, um, um, you know, the original data frame, which is having ID and name, uh, two uh, columns, one record, 10 Raja. From that, you know, we have created this test data uh, using uh, PySpark, you know, some uh, user defined function that I will walk through in the demo. I hope you understood what is the use of uh, array repeat and how to generate uh, test data. 
and why do we need uh, this uh, test data because in most of the scenarios you now we will be testing the data with smaller uh, amount of data uh, in development or testing phase but while moving the data uh, moving the solution to production you now the production over that uh, time it might uh, it might um, pull a huge amount of data so our solution should be scalable it should be able to handle huge amount of data so in order to perform performance testing or stress testing this uh, uh, test data generation is very important because for example coming to stress testing in the uh, stress testing normally we used to check you know what is the breakpoint failure not uh, till wh what point the solution can um, you know accept the data you know the cluster we are having certain cluster configuration you know it can handle um, uh, you know how much data in order to measure that you know, we have to create huge amount of data then you know we have to test another one is performance testing in the performance testing you know we will check in order to process 1000 records you know how much time it takes in order to process 1 million records you know how much time it takes in order to process 1 billion records how much time it takes so in order to compare the performance you know we need to generate a huge amount of test data you know for that this process can be used right hope you understood let us uh, get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment cluster is up and running first step i am going to create one of the sample data frame with the three records let me execute the first step so in the first step, uh, sample data frame got created, which is having four columns and three records. IDs triple one, triple two, triple three. Right. Now, first I'm going to apply array repeat function. So as I explained in the slide, you now the uh, syntax is array repeat. Within that, we have to give a specific column based on which we want to create array value and how many number of times we have to create. So in this case, I'm going to generate array value based on the ID and 10 times. So let me execute, then you can see the output. So I am uh, defining the new column that is called the key column. So the execution is successful. Now we can see it has created new column key call. It has repeated 10 times the value. Triple 1 it got uh, repeated 10 times. Similarly triple 2 that got um, uh, repeated 10 times. Same for triple 3. Right. Now in order to convert this um, uh, you know single elements into separate rows, I have to apply explode function. I have already posted one video about explode, explode function. In case uh, you haven't watched, I highly recommend to watch that video. Right now, uh, the syntax for explode function is explode. Then I am giving array repeat. Now I am giving uh, 100. It means you know 100 times I want to uh, I want to create you know 100 array elements and then I want to explode. In this example, I have given you know only uh, 10. Even you know I can give uh, two uh, two elements. Let me give two elements. Here we can see you know this triple one that got repeated only two times let me give five times now it is creating you know five uh, records right so in this explode what i am doing is now i am going to give let's say first i am giving 10 so each record there are three records each record will be exploded to three uh, uh, 10 times so overall we will get uh, 30 records as output let me execute here we can see you know the number of records 30 uh, 30 so what happened is you know this uh, value uh, key value triple one you know it was uh, available only one time now you know it is uh, repeated 10 times similarly triple two even that is uh, repeated 10 times triple three also right so in no time you know we can create uh, test data with uh, this multiply factor let me give thousand let us see I have given 1000 then we can see here you know it has produced um, you know uh, 3000 records because one single record will be exploded to 1000 times we are having originally three records it will be multiplied by uh, 1000 so 3000 um, records will be there by default it is truncating to uh, 1000 records let me execute so that we can see the complete count of this one here we can see it, is, it has produced 3000 records right so now we understood the functionality of array repeat and the functionality of explode. Now the only problem is you now we are having the key column but which is duplicated. In most of the uh, scenarios we have to define the primary key. For that I am going to use a row number. So what the next step what I am doing is you know I am defining the window function. So here I am uh, going to use row number so no need to partition or order by based on any specific column. Simply I am giving some literal A based on that I am ordering and no partition. I am defining the window. Based on that window, I am using row number window function. Then I am uh, creating a new column that is uh, row number. So it will uh, give row number for all the um, uh, records. Then after that, I am going to add that uh, row number with this existing value, with this uh, new 
uh, id with this you know key column id or this original id you know i want to uh, i want to uh, increment you know i want to perform the summation right so let me execute this step then you can understand execution is successful here we can see you know uh, uh, I, this was the original uh, data set before this step now i have uh, created row number then i have uh, added that uh, row number with this uh, key column or you know this id both are same so here i have added then it you know it is giving 112 then you know it will uh, it will repeat let me uh, get the full data set then we can see this uh, you know triple uh, 1 that is uh, being incremented similarly triple 2 will be incremented and triple uh, 3 will be incremented right hope you understood how you know we have created now you now we are uh, having our original data set you know original columns and also one of the new id you know that is uh, unique now the temporary columns you know which uh, we created you know as part of this process those things can be removed for example this id original id that can be removed key column that can be removed row number that can be uh, removed and this new id that can be renamed to id so that is what i am going to do in the next step you know for that what i am doing is you know i am dropping the unwanted columns id key column row number those uh, three columns i am dropping and on top of that you know i am selecting uh, the columns in the right order because a new id i am uh, renaming to id that i am putting as a first column then after that first name last name salary now let me execute this um, step right now we can see you know this is um, uh, uh, you know this is similar to our original data frame which is having uh, four columns you now earlier we had only three records now it has uh, produced 3000 records right this is how you know whenever we are uh, going to define some parameter in this example i have given the parameter of 1000 but we can give any number of parameter so we can give even million then it is going to create you know 3 million records in no time so i have uh, summarized you know, all the steps in one of the user defined function so in your project what you can do is you know you can create this user defined function which is accepting one of the input data frame so in this case you know we are having one input data frame with four columns three records and key column id is the primary key column that i am going to pass and multiply factor you know in this case i have given 1000 you now we can give anything so i have created this um, uh, user defined function within that you know i have uh, summarized all the steps whatever i have explained first you know i am um, uh, applying uh, array repeat on top of that i am applying the explode so here i am giving the multiply factor then after that i am creating the row number based on the row number i am uh, performing the addition then after that i am dropping the unwanted columns then finally this uh, user defined function will return some data frame which will which will have multi folded or you know exploded data right so let me uh, execute this user defined function this is done now i am going to call this user defined function so here i am going to give our original data frame df and the column i am going to uh, uh, tell id and 10 times it it should explode which means originally we are having three records then it will be multiplied by 10 so it will give 30 records let me execute this step here we can see we got 30 records and uh, everything is having unique value so it's very simple okay in no time we can uh, generate huge amount of data for our testing purpose i hope you understood the concept you now how to use uh, array repeat explode and how to generate test data hope you enjoyed and like the content of this video uh, please comment and like in the channel please subscribe this channel don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest video on spark and databricks development thank you